Okay, assalamualaikum and hello. Okay, so we continue our class with uh, data type. Okay, so let me go before uh, we before we end our class last last class. Okay, we talk about the logical. So as I mentioned before, logical is quite a popular question. Make sure you are try to understand this. Okay. So logical, you have two example. Usually they will show something like this. Either using a, uh, in the form of array, okay, indexing, uh, accessing in the form of array, or accessing in the form of linear, okay, linear index. So now we continue with data conversion. So as I mentioned before, there are a lot of type. You already look at the logical, okay. Uh, you already look at string, okay. Uh, I'm not sure where is it, okay. So single and double. Single you don't use. Single is much more faster, much more precise, okay. So double is uh, much more slower but highly precise, okay. And then you have a integer conversion, okay. You can either integer 8 bit, 16 bit, 32. This one is much more faster. This one is unsigned. Okay. Uh, if you already learn about uh, what you call the digital. Okay. Digital, uh, the end number or the beginning number uh, will be used as a sign of uh, negative or positive. So this one is unsigned. Uh, this one is signed. This is unsigned. Just uh, for you to know. And then you have string. Okay, you have integer convert to string. Okay, this is just a function you want to use to convert number to string, string to double. How to convert this number using this? Okay, metric to string. Okay. So uh, this one you should know, but no need to go deep. Okay. So this is an example. How to convert uh, this one? Remember that I said the number is double. Okay, automatically MATLAB assign it as double. So if you want to convert this into integer, you can do that. Okay, so integer eight bit. Okay, so if you have ten point something, if you convert into integer, it just become ten. So you need to know that. So this one also another example. Okay, as I mentioned before, uh, uh, integer 8 bit. Okay, remember? So, integer 8 bit. So, you want to know uh, the maximum number. So, to the power of. Okay, this one cannot. Eh? So, you have to use a scientific calculator. 2 to the power of. Uh, so maximum is, uh, it should be minus one if not mistaken. So you have to recall back because this is sign I think. Okay, so it has a limited range. Okay, so eight bit is actually has maximum of one hundred and twenty seven. So two power of eight because this is eight bit minus one. Eight minus one is seven. So you get 128. So uh, another one is reserved for zero. Okay. So it become 127. So make sure you know the limit for integer 8 and integer 16. Okay. Integer 8, 127. Integer 8, 2, 5, 7. Okay. So if you have a larger number, it will go to the max. Okay. Uh, you will learn this more detail in digital. So, no need to worry too much, but make sure you know for integer 8, the maximum is this one. For integer 16, this one. Okay. So, if they give a double and then convert into integer, make sure you have the maximum limit. Okay, I give you another example here. Okay. Okay. So, string. Okay, remember string is just uh, uh, alphabet. But not also uh, not only alphabet, but it can be number. Okay, so you have str is equals to this. Okay, so number to string. 
So you have A is equals number to string, string it become this. And you want to convert this to double, it become this. Okay. So I think this one uh, no need to worry because you need to have a table, okay, conversion table. Okay. So one is actually 49, uh, two is actually 50, three is actually 51. Okay. So don't uh, no need to worry for this, okay, because you need to have a table to do this conversion. Okay. But if you remember the table, okay, no problem. Okay, but uh, this one, no need to worry because it is hard to memorize everything. Okay, now we move on to, if not mistaken, the last part, which is constant. Okay, so what is constant is uh, basically the parameter that is available to the uh, MATLAB. Okay, remember last time I write pi, okay. So pi is actually is a constant. So it's already safe inside the MATLAB. So if you want to calculate the radius to multiply by pi multiply by the radius, for example, 3. So automatically it will assume pi is the 3.1416. Okay, so that is the constant. So let me show you more. So another thing is i. Remember i is square root of negative 1. Or you can use j. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure whether j is available or not. Okay. So let us try it. Usually I use i. 3 plus 4 j. Okay. So also can. So you can assign an imaginary as i or j. Okay. Another thing is infinite. Okay. So infinite means that a very large number i and f. So you can uh, 1 divided by i and f. So you can get 0. Okay. So you can use that constant also. And another is none. Not a number. So the output is cannot be determined. Okay. Okay. Other than scalar. Okay, you also have a metric constant. Okay, so this one, I think most of you don't know. Okay, I also don't know. If not mistaken, magic is identity. Okay, so this one, no need to worry too much, but you need to know there is a constant for this one. Okay, uh, this one I think already shown before. Sign, okay. You, this is a function of sign and remember... Uh, if you use sign here, this is in radius, not in degree. Okay. So, this one already mentioned before. Okay. So, none is, uh, remember, if you use your calculator, you calculate it, uh, you can get syntax error, right? So, this one for MATLAB, it will show none, not a number. Okay. So, this one is the condition of none. This one can be come out in the theory. Make sure you try to know it. Okay. Multiply of 0 as uh, multiply to the infinity. Infinity divided by infinity. Okay. So this one. Okay. Make sure uh, try to memorize this. Okay. So uh, this is uh, considered as tutorial. Okay. Sorry, I cannot be there. I have another meeting uh, at 11 so uh, you just have to watch the video okay so let us look at the drill okay name the data type value and value type and array size of the following so in the exam okay or test you cannot use MATLAB to check this but uh, for this class Okay, you can try your own how to check this. Remember the coding whose. Okay, so assume. Okay, clear first. Okay, so make sure you know what types. Okay, data types, data value. Okay, so A is equals to 20.4. So this is of course double. Okay. 
Okay, you can see here the name, the data, and uh, the data type is double. Okay, uh, double click this. Okay, double. Okay, or this one class double. The size is one multiplied by one or scala. Okay, the name, the name is a. Okay, for this case is a. Okay, but if you just write uh, twenty point four, it should be the name is answer. Okay, so here see. It is automatically named AN as answer. Okay. So next is uh, A equals to 5. So don't need to worry. Okay. This one is also double. Okay. And the array size, remember this is one row. Okay. Three columns. So one multiplied by three. So let me show you. So where is open bracket? Two, three. It. So make sure you know to define this. Okay. So. Okay. Whose ants? Okay. So you can see here the size is one multiplied by three. The name is answer. A and S. Okay. The class is double. Okay. So seven. Okay. So remember when you have this one. Even though it is number, it will become string, okay, or character, okay. Ah, uh, so let me show you seven. Maybe I should put B, okay. Okay, so you can see here it will become character, okay. So let me push B. So you can see here it is a character. Okay, so of course ABC. So let uh, C is equals to open bracket. Uh, not open bracket. This is apostrophe. Is not second. Okay, so something like this. Okay, so if you can see here, this is become character. Okay, the data type is character. The value is ABC, and uh, what is the size? You can see here one multiplied by three because you have three number. So let us use here Who's C So you can see here the size is 1 multiplied by 3 The name Okay, the character is car Okay, the class is character So for this one is uh, I think it's not uh, uh, logical Okay, B is equal to T R U E See, you can see here it will automatically become logical if you write true or false. Okay. So this data is logical. Okay. And it is 1 multiplied by 1. Okay. Of course, and this one. Okay. Number 8 is a complex number. So let me. D is equals to 20 plus 2i. So you can see here complex double. Okay. It will become complex and double. Okay. So this is a combination. So next example here. Okay. So this one. Let me copy this. Okay, I cannot copy this. So this one is considered a string. Or it will become error. If not mistaken, it's error, right? Oh, okay. No problem. So you can do this. Okay, it will become 3. Okay. And the size is 1 multiplied by 3. And for this case, of course, it will go down. So instead of uh, it will become two multiply by one, still a character. So let has a loop. Okay, of course cannot. Okay. Okay, make sure you try this exercise. Eh? Okay. Okay, you have to practice. Okay, so you can see here now it is two multiplied by one is still a character. Okay. 
So I think this one is just a standard comp uh, double, okay, with the array, okay. So how about this? Okay. So C is equals to open bracket A B. Okay. What happened? So. So let us look at C. So you can see here it will become double. Okay. So if not mistaken A it will convert to something. Okay. Oh not convert to something but actually it will take another value here. So you have to clear this. Okay. So C equals to A and B. So I think this one will become error. Okay, let us have a look. Okay, see? It will become error because it doesn't know what is A and B. You have to define it first. Okay, same as here. You have to define it first. Okay. So except you already define it. Okay, so for this case, A is equals to 5 and B is equals to true. Okay, so this one will become something like this and it should be double. Okay, so remember uh, the, the MATLAB is prefer double. So if you have logical and you have a double here okay uh, if you have logical and if you have a double it will produce double okay so magic okay let's us try magic this is a constant okay so i'm not sure what is it okay this is just a mathematic okay so you need it of course this one Make sure you know how to define everything is okay so you need you integer unassigned integer it is uh, if not a second is also 20 okay 20 so it will become also 20 okay so I think that's it okay so that is all for chapter Okay, make sure you try to figure out this one. Okay, the answer actually you have to figure out without MATLAB. Okay, after you figure it out, you can test the answer with the MATLAB. Okay, because in your final exam or the in the test, you cannot use computer to get the answer. Okay, so that's it for uh, chapter two. Okay, maybe we will continue a little bit on chapter 3. Okay, we still have 40 more minutes. Okay, so uh, I will record this in the next video. Okay, so thank you.